Hi there handbaggers and welcome to the duck's nest. This is the military mom and in this video I am going to share a bit of an eBay fail while I was trying to GI Wi-Fi get in where I fit in. So those of you who follow my channel or who drop by occasionally may have heard me say that there is nothing like Dooney and Burke Florentine leather in the color natural. So you might ask, why do I think that? All right, so I have come up with six reasons why I love Florentine leather in the color natural. First and foremost is the fragrance. I believe that of all the colors, I think natural in my experience has the most fragrant aroma and I love the smell of good leather. So first is the fragrance. Second is the pebbling. I never ever want a smooth Florentine bag. The more pebbling, the better, even if it's in certain spots. I really don't care about a smooth bag and the uh, Florentine leather in the color natural, I think, tends to have, at least in my experience, it tends to have the most pebbling. And when it is pebbled, you can actually see the texture better on um, the natural colored bags. So the third reason that I love Florentine leather in the color natural is that it develops a patina. So, you know, it starts off sort of like a bright raw matte color. And then as you handle it and as you carry it and as the sun hits it and the oils from your hand and everything else, it develops a darker gloss um, that I love. And the fourth reason, I think we're on number four, the fourth reason is um, actually the gloss because as the patina develops, it creates a gloss that almost creates like a barrier to water spotting. So that's another reason why I love the color natural. Um, the next reason I, know I love the color natural is because it tends not to have color transfer. Once it has that patina, it won't pick up colors from your clothes. Um, again, this is my experience I'm sharing. I really believe that um, the patina helps guard against not only water spotting, but um, color transfer. And the final reason that I love Florentine leather in the color natural is um yeah I'm 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 drawing a blank so I'm looking at my pieces to try to figure out what it is. Oh <laughs> it's the hand. The hand of this leather is just so amazing once it's broken in. Like literally if I didn't have this bag stuff, look how bendable that is. And um, I think once it's broken in, it wears more like, it, it almost wears more like a good leather jacket than a handbag. It's just really, really nice to the touch. So those are my six reasons why I prefer my Florentine to be in the color natural. So now that I picked up a bag, let me just share with you quickly my collection. This is my small Brenna. And then I have a mail bag. And I'm so glad that I have some sunlight because I love showing my bags in natural light, even though I'm sort of in shadow and in sunlight. This is my Boldrini um, that was what I call a rescue bag uh, because it was distressed. I got it at a wonderful price. This particular one was distressed, so I use it as an overnight bag, and it's filling like the whole 
viewfinder here in the camera, but this is um, one of two of these that I own, but the only one I own in the color natural. And then I have this beauty, front pocket shopper, back slip, whip stitching, and then I have an honorable mention that is not Dooney and Burke, but it is this one. This is my full grain leather backpack by the company Will, and it's in the color natural. It also has some Dooney and Burke hallmarks, whip stitching, and yeah, this is a beautiful bag. And the hand on this bag is amazing. So let me show you the newest addition to my collection and it is this one y'all I'm so excited about this bag and I'm going to share with you why but first I want to show you the bag so I'm going to show her in natural light and then I'm going to try to move out of the natural light because I don't know if that's coming across too bright So, sorry about the noise, the scraping noise. This bag, you all, is a bag that I have been stalking for a while. And I'm going to tell you why I have been stalking this bag. First and foremost, it's Dooney and Burke, my handbag heart. Second of all, it's Florentine leather in the color natural. And the other reasons are this bag has three exterior pockets, two gusseted can you see that um gusseted front snap pockets look at that whip stitching on the pockets and then a back slip um of course the whip stitching and look at this dual zippers which i love and the zipper pulls are the hallmark dooney and burke tassels yes can you see that? The red zipper tape and the fact that this bag has a detachable strap. There is another bag, a uh, front pocket bag, that um, is larger than this bag and it does not have detachable um, shoulder strap options. So yeah, this was another reason why I wanted this particular iteration and the fact that you all, it is square. It's a square bag and square bags hold so much. And let me show you, this is not like a what's in my bag, it's to show you how much this bag holds. And the zippers don't stop right here at the width of the bag. The zippers go down a little bit on either side and allows this bag to open so wide, yes, right? And those of you who follow my channel or drop by occasionally know I don't carry a lot, but this is a great work bag because it carries, as you can see, my umbrella. And it is carrying a dab cloth because perspiration in Florida in June is not an option, it's a reality. And I have my mini iPad. I have this, and this bag has a leather key keeper. Yes. Um, I also have my largest cosmetic case. I have a large Dooney and Burke wallet. And I have another large Dooney and Burke wallet and let me tell you all let me see if there's anything else in here no look at this look how wide this opens yes and i have nothing in the pockets i have nothing in the front pockets um so all of that just came out of this main section now the reason another reason i wanted this particular bag um i think i may have mentioned it but in case i didn't is uh the, sh the east west orientation I love an east west and this is you all I'm so excited I'm sure you can tell but this is the perfect 
size. It's not too deep. It's not too wide. She doesn't have a big old butt. Um, but it holds everything that I need her to hold. I am just like in love with this bag. So you might be asking yourself, okay, military mom, tell us about the fail. All right, first and foremost, one fail is that even though this bag has three exterior pockets, she does not hold my phone on the exterior because, and I, I'm filming with my phone, so of course I can't show you, but if I put my phone in one of these front gusseted pockets, the pocket will not snap closed. And this pocket is just shallow enough where it won't close. So if I put my phone in this pocket, it will actually stay put. It's just that the um, pocket won't snap closed. And it will fit in this back slip. But this back slip is pretty shallow. So my phone honestly um, comes up to here. If Dooney had just raised the depth of this pocket um, to maybe right here where the strap is, my phone would literally disappear in this pocket because it's plenty wide enough for my iPhone 6. So that's sort of one of the fails. And as you can see, this is not, well, you can't see, but this is not the strap that came with this bag. And I honestly think I've taken the strap off and I don't have it with me, but this is a um, Dooney and Burke strap that I took from another bag. And look at this, you all, as an aside, I managed somehow to gouge this strap. I don't know how I did that, but you know what? I'm going to keep it moving. All right, so the other fail was cigarette smoke. And I'm giving you the, all this look because I'm really frustrated with myself because I have been shopping on eBay long enough to know better. And let me tell you what I mean. <clears throat> this bag, this square shape is somewhat rare. So, I actually found three of these on eBay at the same time in the color natural. I was like a kid in the candy store. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, not only do they have it on eBay, they have three of them. This one was listed at $1.99. There was one listed at $2.98, I believe. And then there was another one listed at $3.99. So... I'm looking at the pictures and I'm like, okay, what's going on? What's the difference between the prices? And so I'm spending a lot of time looking at the condition of this bag because after all, this bag is about, I'm sorry, this channel is about quality, affordability, and function. So I was on that like affordability kick, right? So I'm like, okay, why is this one... $1.99, is it ragged out? I couldn't find any defects in the pictures. So I offered the seller $139 and she accepted and I was ecstatic. But in my excitement, I forgot to check to see if this was from a smoke-free and pet-free location. And when I unboxed it, y'all, it reeked of cigarette smoke. But I wasn't really worried because I fixed the cigarette smoke smell. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I want to tell you right now what made me get over the cigarette smell. It was because this bag was in exceptional condition. I mean, there were no defects on this bag at all. And usually you can tell if a Florentine bag has been mistreated by the condition of the suede at the top. And look at that. There is nothing. Whoever had this bag took really good care of it, except for the cigarette smoke. But um, yeah, this bag, no, I mean, no ink stains, no stains whatsoever. If if you happen to see any stains, trust me, it's probably stains that I have put in here because I've been carrying this bag since the minute I got rid of the cigarette smoke smell, right? So how did I get rid of cigarette smoke smell? First thing I did was I spent $5 and I bought a bag of ground coffee that I did not brew. I just took the brown, uh, the ground coffee 
and I wrapped it in paper towel and I put it in each one of the pockets. I put it in the interior. I even closed the bag and sprinkled, yes, I sprinkled coffee on top of the bag. That helped get rid of most of the cigarette smell. And then the other um, way that I totally got rid of the cigarette smell was just with the essential oil. And I'm telling you, this patina on these bags is no joke because I took essential oil that I had in a spray form, I sprayed it on the leather. And it probably added to the patina because this bag came with a beautiful patina. Look at that shine. Look at that shine, yes. So, okay, now that I've gushed over this bag, you might be asking yourself, Okay, military mom, you said that you're trying to keep your collection manageable. Which bag are you transitioning out now that you got this one in? And the bag that I am transitioning out, you all, is this one. This is a nylon crossbody by Toomey. And this is a great bag. I just don't carry it. The color is gorgeous. It almost glows Look at that. That is beautiful. And talk about organization. This is a great bag to travel with. Then the main compartment. Then it has a snap on the back. Um, yeah, I just don't carry it. I never carry this bag. So this is the bag that is transitioning out. This is the bag that is coming in. And I couldn't be happier despite the cigarette smoke smell. All right. I think that is all I wanted to share with you all. Thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, happy carrying.